Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Cracking Maths with Shufia. And in our last two videos, introductory videos, we had almost covered everything related to algebraic expressions. Still, if there is any confusion, uh, it will definitely disappear after doing sums related to the particular chapter. Yes, bacho, aaj hame sums on algebraic expressions self karna hai or if anybody missed any of my introductory videos of uh, algebraic expressions i recommend you to go through my previous videos for which you can check the i button or you can get the link in my description box if you like my videos then please do subscribe to my channel and share my videos as much as you can and now the time has come concept clear there is no fear okay let's begin today's video now question number one is write the algebraic expression of two-third of a number x multiplied by the sum of x and y using variables constants and arithmetic operations okay now children try to remember the terms variables constants arithmetic operations can you remember kuch yaad aaya yes yeah, exactly we have found it in the definition of algebraic expression right now two third of x means 2 by 3 into x okay that means product of 2 by 3 and x and kabhi kabhi hame ye confusion hota hai 2 by 3 plus likhna hai x likhna hai ya 2 by 3 into x likhna hai so main batati hu ko plus likhna hai if it's written uh, 2 by 3 more than x then we we'll write like 2 by 3 plus x number 1 and again if it's written like uh, 2 by 3 when 2 by 3 is added to x and uh, in that case I mean 2 by 3 is added to x obviously 2 by 3 it will be like 2 by 3 plus x and uh, if we it's written like uh, 2 third of x or 3 times of x or 1 third uh, 1 by 3 times of x etc or like anything like that then in that case we will write 2 by 3 into x and uh, 1 by 3 into x or 3 into x 3 times of x means 3x next hame kya nikalna hai i mean uh, next um, uh, we'll have to find out the value of what x sum of x and y because in the question it is written um, uh, two third of x multiplied by the sum of x and y and what is the sum of x and y obviously it is x plus y so two third of x that means 2 by 3 into x into x plus y okay and this is the expression but here bracket bohut zaruri hai kyunki humne 2 by 3 into x ke saath duno x plus y duno ko multiply karna hai so the expression is like 2 by 3 into x into x plus y within the bracket x plus y okay so let's uh, move on to the next topic and bachcho fir bhi agar koi doubt hai to humne hamara jo simple equations ka jo playlist hai uska link de diya description box mein aur wahan pe bahut sare bahut sare sums humne solve kiya aur you, you can clear your all doubt detail may explain kia so you can go through those videos all right let's move on to the next sum so question number two identify the terms factors numerical coefficients of terms other than constants 7x square y plus 5xy minus y plus 120 okay but sure अब बताओ जल्दी जल्दी बताओ टर्म्स क्या क्या है यस yes, 7x square y 5xy minus y and 120 you remember this one is minus y and 120 these are all terms and factors factors means uh, 
those uh, terms which are multiplied to get a term the 7 x x and y you see x square means two x's are there and in 5 x y 5 into x into y so these are multiplied to get this term and in minus y minus 1 and y and 120 it is a single constant factor this is 120 next one is our numerical coefficient and here it's written clearly other than constants so in case of 7 x square y numerical coefficient will be that means a number this is our 7 in the first term variable part is x square y and number is 7 in the second term variable or uh, x y uh, is variable and 5 is the numerical coefficient that is the number and the minus y y is the variable and minus 1 is the numerical coefficient and in 120 this is a constant term so no it does not have any coefficient okay uh, here it's written other than constants and why it's written there because unhe jo variable parts hai uska jo coefficient hai wo chahiye that means wo numerical coefficient jo variable parts ka coefficient chahiye okay so here in all these cases we have written the numbers so variable parts ka jo coefficient hai now question number three which of the following expressions are polynomials also classify those polynomials into monomial binomial trinomial etc now here you see it uh, in the first expression it contains uh, constants 2 minus 3 5 variables x y z and is uh, with arithmetic operation connected with arithmetic operations plus and minus so obviously it is a polynomial and as it contains uh, it contains how many terms three terms so it will be a trinomial and next one is you see y that means it is a single term and so it is, as it is a constant and variable y and uh, it is a monomial and next one is our p square q square minus 3pq here variables are what p and q and it is connected with arithmetic operation so this is also a polynomial and it contains two terms so this is a binomial and next one you see x cube minus 1 by x square plus 3 in this 1 by x square this is a confusing one you see 1 by x square um, we can write like x to the power x to the power minus 2 1 by x square is equal to x to the power minus 2 and uh, here um, exponent that means power is minus 2 which is not a whole number which is not a whole number and in uh, definition of polynomial the power of the uh, these variables must be a whole number and we know whole numbers are all 0 along with all positive integers that means 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 etc these are all whole numbers so minus 2 is not a whole number so this is not a polynomial okay and in next case you see 3 root x plus x root 5 here also root x is equal to uh, x to the power half yes power is half which is again not a whole number half is not a whole number and so this uh, one is also not a polynomial so we have found here these two expressions one is 1 by x square another is 3 root x these are not polynomials and and 127 is obviously a polynomial because 127 we can write like uh, 127 into x to the power 0 because x to the power 0 is equal to 1 and 0 is a whole number we know 0 is a whole number and these are called constant polynomials yes this 127 is a constant polynomial only 0 is equal to 0 into x to the power 0 is called 0 polynomial so 127 is a polynomial it is a monomial yes 127 is a monomial so i think all uh, this uh, uh, concept about this uh, monomial binomial trinomial and which are polynomial which are not polynomial all these are clear okay so for today that's all for today 
and see you in my next class next uh, video so till then bye bye stay home stay safe okay